In a fiery yet fitting start to the TNT Rugby Football Union Championship season, Harvard reclaimed the Robert Farfan Trophy when they defeated Caribs 17 to 15 at the Queen's Park Savannah and set the tone for the rest of the season. As Ruskin Mark explains, the Serpentine Road outfit is once again the team to beat in domestic rugby. Caribs had revenge on their minds as they attempted to wrest the Robert Farfan Trophy from the group of Harvards, the men in green. But neither team could hit early from penalty kicks, a portion of the game that would come back to haunt both teams, but more so Harvards. However, the men in white were full of running and intent as they tried desperately to break the deadlock. But that honor would go to Harvards, who did so in rather bizarre circumstances, as one set of players were seen jostling each other in the foreground, while in the background, you could see the speedy Joseph Quashi taking advantage to go over for the first try of the afternoon, five to nothing Harvards. Ruffy Ryan Hinkson eventually had to intervene and issued a, a booking to national player Darren Clancy for striking out at another player. But Anson Lewis couldn't hit the ensuing conversion, so it remained 5 0. Eventually, Carroll's would get on the tins as this one sailed through for 5 to 3 as Bess Waka struck for Caribs. Harvard tried to stretch that lead but just couldn't break down the Caribs defense that bent but wouldn't break again before the interval. Again they came close but just couldn't punch it in near the corner, the crowd making it difficult to see the end of the play. But it remained 5-3 to three at the interval as both teams were searching for ways to break through against each other in the second half. But Harvard's would start the second half like gangbusters and Hassan Lewis would do the honors as he fakes a little pass and keeps it himself then runs up the gut to score under the post for a 10-3 lead. He would tackle another two as the conversion is good and Harvard's are ruling now. Caribs would try hard to get back in this one and came close on a couple of occasions but came up empty again and again. Harvard's would go over and extend their lead to 17-3 but left another two points out there as the conversion was missed. That was Caribs' cue to get rolling, and they did with this dive over for 8 to 17 now. They would tack on another conversion to close the gap to seven points at 10 17, and then to two with another try, but missed the conversion as it ended 17 15 to Harvard's, who retained the Robert Farfan Trophy. Ruskin Mark, C Sports Extra.